Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jackie. Um, today I have the Vegan Cuts May 2020 snack box. If you saw one of my last videos, you saw me unbox it um, and you saw each individual item. There's a lot of cool stuff in these boxes and I wanted to actually make another video to show you and taste test some of the individual items. Um, I chose the B Vita Purple um, all-in-one cereal with the mixable oat milk. Purple oat milk, I think. <laughs> Sounds weird, but it could be totally cool. Um, I got the Pig Out Pigless Pork Rinds. They are Texas barbecue flavored. And then we're also going to be trying the Julie's California Superfruit Medjool Dates. So, I think we should start. Um, I say let's start with the Julie's. Get that over with. It's like a cute little raisin box. And honestly, dates are kind of like large raisins. Um, they're pretty sweet and they're healthy. Make sure you um, kind of press them with your finger. Okay, these ones are really moist. Oh, pitted. 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 Does pitted mean there's pit or there, it's like pitted out? Pitted? I don't know. I don't see a little pit, but okay. Mm. So good. Honestly, these are the best dates I've had. I've gotten various ones from like Whole Foods and I don't know where I've gotten before, but they're not good. These are so good. They're honestly like a candy. <laughs> Give me chills. <laughs> they're like a candy. I know people put like a little peanut butter in them. Um, whatever. But three came in this pack. They're so cute. Um, 110 calories for the pack. That would be perfect for a lunch box or something. But... And they're moist, which is something important when you're looking for a fruit. Okay. Next, I think we're gonna do the purple cereal. So you open it up and there's like this silver pack, and that's the granola. And then this pack is the oat milk. And then there's like a little spoon, like a cool spoon. It folds. So I'll snap that into place, and I'll put that in my bowl. Here's the oat milk. So, I read the directions before, but it says pour the powder in, then fill the empty pouch with water, and then pour the water into the mix. Okay. Okay, so the oat milk is opened, and it's purple powder, okay. so it's definitely going to turn purple, oh, you see that, if you can see it, it's a very fine purple powder, now it says fill this with water, so I got cold water, if you want cold, like not room temperature, milk, cold water. And I will fill this with water. Not filling. Alright. Now, it says pour the uh, pouch full of water um, into the bowl with the purple powder. Alright. Mix that in. Now, here. If I could like, mix it sideways. Whoa. So, mix it. It's definitely purple. Um, I'm trying to get all the fine powder to dissolve. Doesn't have much of a scent. I was expecting, like, what, grape, I guess? <laughs> Does not have a grape scent. It keeps splashing it everywhere. But, there's that. Now, I'll pour my granola in. 
purple granola. Look at that. Alright, granola's in. Let me mix it around, get my cereal evenly coated. Check that out. Have you ever seen purple cereal? Okay, now let me eat it. Mm -mm. Okay. Let's see. Granola is like very crunchy, like rice. Is it rice? Yep. Rice. With like hardly any flavor. Just crunch. Now the milk doesn't have much flavor either. Um. I'm gonna do that, okay? Oh, it's purple sweet potato. Now that I read it, I can definitely taste the sweet potato. Um, would not recommend. Fun for kids, and it was fun to make. Now, if it tasted great, like if the powder had more of a vanilla flavor, it would taste awesome. Uh, and I think it's a really creative idea. Dairy people can't mix milk like that, can they? Um, there's that. Next, out of the box, we're going to try these pig out pigless pork rinds. Oh, very barky. Oh, that thing's are cool. Yeah. Take a little curl. Mm. Yeah. Like a barbecue crunchy chip. Similar to like a hippie or a Cheeto. Super crunchy. Look in there. It's 130 calories for the whole bag. Or crunchy little barbecue flavored. Nice. Good barbecue. Texas barbecue flavor. Um. Maybe they market to more, I don't know, who actually likes pig pork rinds? I don't know, I wish they would market them as like a barbecue Cheeto, because I think they're great like that, but pig, pigless pork rinds, it kind of sounds weird. Well, they're really good, and they're made from, out, they're made by Outstanding Foods, they're called. Well, pretty yummy. I hope you enjoyed my little taste test. Um, I love the vegan cuts box because it's kind of like a taste test every month of all these different vegan products like purple cereal and um, pigless pork rinds. But hope you like the items I tried. If you see any other ones you want me to try that you saw in my video or you want me to get my opinion on, let me know. Um, I look forward to making my next video. Bye guys.